Welcome to Emo 2023. We're here on the Huachon stand. Um, now, Stefan, there's something that quite interesting about Huachon as a brand, mm -hmm. and you have a very strong company philosophy in building your own components. Is that correct? Yes, uh, we are building very much of uh, the components of our machines. No? Part of a machine, the spindle, that's always uh, manufactured in-house and also developed. We have a long history in developing our spindles. So, yeah, there's a lot of the parts which are essential are from Watschok. Absolutely. And is there anything about the company philosophy that you're really proud about? Uh, yeah, proud about. Um, one part of our philosophy is uh, that we always have a little bit more weight than our competitors. So, um, yeah, we do not uh, save weight on our machines, which is very... Um, positive for the shipping process itself and of course yeah the spindle on the left as well on the milling centers absolutely i know these machines are very stable machines yeah. um, we're here in front of a brand new machine for europe this is the d35 axe yeah now quick overview what kind of machine is it yes it's a uh, five axis machining centers um, with uh, this time it's a larger version from the d2 which uh, it's already i think for uh, now three years in the market so now we extended our D uh, series with a D3, which has now a 800 millimeter round table and uh, various type uh, of different uh, spindles for each application. Yeah, for this style of machine, it's a really big working area. Mm -hmm. What kind of components are customers expected to be kind of putting on this machine? Um, the D3 is kept very versatile. So uh, we have a machine for uh, five side machining you know, to finish a part in one clamp and uh, it's also capable of doing some die and mold operations. Uh, it's not an HSC machine, um, despite we have a 20K spinal or 24K, which is quite a lot, but um, yeah, uh, some customers do not need uh, HSC machining, so much can be done here on this machine. Yeah, this is a really versatile machine, even with the, it's mm -hmm. got 14,000 RPM, it's still, you can make a lot of components with yeah. it. But looking at this, the style of machine, the table, table construction, mm -hmm. um, especially such a big working area, you might thought you'd be limited by the weight of the component you're putting on it. Yeah, uh, I think 600 kilogram, it's on this machine here. It's quite a lot and uh, it's quite dynamic if you also have this much weight on the table. No? Uh, we support this with a front bearing. Um, yeah, so no problem. Yeah, no problem, that's it. Even yeah. for 600 kilograms, throwing it around in the real five axis movement, fine yeah. finishing and whatnot. Um, and a machine is nothing without its spindle. Now, looking at the spindle assembly, it looks quite slim. I mean, the, the, it seems like there's not too much power in that, right? Um, yeah, it looks may, may look like this, <laughs> <laughs> but actually we have uh, 37 kilowatts on power. It's not the peak. It's, uh, uh, yeah, it lasts for also a couple of minutes no? and uh, 300 Newton meters in torque, which is uh, quite strong and you get uh, yeah, a very good chip removal, but still accurate. No? Absolutely, it's amazing you can fit that much power in a spindle that's actually slim enough to look like you can really access loads of little difficult to reach areas as well, yeah. without needing a really tong long tool holder, which yeah. adds vibration and whatnot in the process. Sure. Um, and also when you mentioned mold and die, big components you want to do five axis finishing on, mm -hmm. these might need quite a lot of manual changeovers because you'll need to bring this heavy part in, mm -hmm. line it up, how have you made it easy for the operator to, to not only load up components, but run the machine in general? Um, yeah, for, for loading, uh, these heavy parts need to be lifted by a crane. So in the roof, uh, on the ceiling, we have an automatic door, that, uh, it's rich, uh, yeah, which is there. So uh, the, the table is very uh, close to the operator. It's very convenient to operate. No? And we have also many op uh, possibilities to uh, automate the machine uh, from the side, for example. Yeah, absolutely. So you've got an example here of the D2 being, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. D25 axe being uh, automated. Yeah. Um, what happens if someone is looking at, okay, we need five axis capability now, mm -hmm. um, but we don't quite want to automate yet. Is there a path to automation? Um, yes, um, it's easy uh, when you have a machine already to automate it afterwards. Uh, only thing we need is on the side, a shutter door. So that's uh, automatically opening and uh, then you have uh, all possibilities to put a robot on the side. So a strong, dynamic, versatile machine tool that you can buy now and then add to automation later. That's the D3 from Huachon.